Of course, even the, on the previous nights where you mentioned the hadith of Imam Sadiq salam, gathering his family around and saying to them, don't think that just because you're related to me or you, you share blood with me on the Day of Judgment, you're going to get a free pass. So, of course, even the ayah in the Quran, chapter 49, verse 13 of, of uh, you know, God only judges within piety. Also, of course, it's, exactly. it's down to what you the, achieve the, the real, yourself. The real Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam there are lines where the Holy Prophet highlights what position she has in the eyes of God. And there are lines where the Imams highlight. When the Holy Prophet, for example, says, Fatima is a part of me. Whoever angers her, angers me. Ya Allah. That means that to anger Fatima is the same as angering Rasulullah. Angering Rasulullah is the same as angering who? Allah subhanahu, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do you agree? Of course. That means that the pleasure of Fatima is the pleasure of Allah. The anger of Fatima is the anger of Allah. Tell me, how many people did Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa in his lifetime ever say? Whoever angers them, angers me. You can't find that tradition about five people, 50 people, 100 people. Al-Muhammad, you'll find those traditions about them. When you're looking at him saying something like, Fatima's a part of me, whoever angers her, angers me. That's the first indicator. When everybody comes to propose for her when they want to get married Rasulullah later talks about the idea that if it's not for Ali there's no one who would be anywhere near Fatima mm -hmm. what's he saying there he's saying that all those who have come to propose they may believe in God and so on, but that's not enough for you to even come near Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam. Fatima's cognizance of her Lord and the way her Lord has poured grace and showered his grace over her. There's only one man who she can ever marry. Mm. And that's probably the only man in Arabia at the time and the only creation alongside her dad who's greater than her. And that's Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. We recognize that Rasulullah and Imam Ali are the two greatest creations of God. Mm. Father and Zahra cannot be with anyone else. Others can come and propose all day long. Thirdly, with the event of Mubahala, there are many women who are around. And the Quran tells the Holy Prophet, peace be upon his family, in Surah 3, verse 61, فَمَنْ حَاجَكَ فِيهِ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَكَ مِنَ الْعِلْمِ فَقُلْ تَعَالَوْ نَدْعُوا أَبْنَاءَنَا وَأَبْنَاءَكُمْ وَنِسَاءَنَا وَنِسَاءَكُمْ وَأَنفُسَنَا وَأَنفُسَكُمْ ثُمَّ نَبْتَهِلْ فَنَجْعَلْ لَعْنَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَى الْكَاثِبِينَ The Quran says, those who dispute with you after the knowledge has come to them, tell them you bring your sons, we'll bring our sons. Bring your woman, we'll bring ours. Tell me, with all of these women present, hmm. Rasulullah decides that take Fatima. Why Fatima? Because the best to represent the religion of Islam is Fatima al-Zahra It's not because she's my daughter. The verse did not say bring your daughters. It said bring your woman. Mm -hmm. He could bring any of his wives. There's a number of wives who are alive at that time he could have bought. There are a number of wives of Sahab of Rasulullah he could have bought. But he decides the best of the woman to represent and all of this is captivated in that wonderful sermon that she gives, which people refer to as Al Khutbah Al Fadakiyah, mm -hmm. the Fadak sermon. Fedak sermon. You know what's special about the Fadak sermon? Put everything aside. The way she describes God is unreal. As in it, it deserves 50 lectures, 100 lectures, just on the introduction. Mm -hmm. There's something about Imam Ali Nabi Talib and Fatima Zahra salam, which is unique. And which is the bedrock of Shiism, and that is their understanding of their Lord is above any creation that was around them. Mm -hmm. And mind you, if you're raised by Rasulullah, you'd expect that. But the way she talks at the beginning of that khutbah highlights what Fatima is. Mm -hmm. Not the daughter of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, or the wife of Ali. In her own right, she is a very special figure. And that's why today when millions come to remember Fatima Zahra I'm saddened when I hear people saying, 
You know how great Fatima Zahra is? She's the daughter of Rasulullah. So mm. what? What of Fatima Zahra sayings? Have you ever heard her explain the Quran? Mm. The woman used to go and learn the Quran from her. Even Sami Allah Liman Hamida. We all know it. After Rukuah Sami Allah Liman Hamida, we all recite it. She used to give a tafsir. What is the meaning of those words, Sami Allah Liman Hamida? I didn't even think a lecture could be given about that word. But subhanallah, and others used to come and they used to ask her questions because they believed that's not just the daughter of so-and-so. That personality is the most perfect, holistic, rounded figure you'll find in her knowledge, perfection. In terms of her manners, perfection. The son tells her, Mama, I hear you praying for the neighbors, mm -hmm. the community. And she would reply with that line that we all use until today, al jar thumma your neighbors and then your house. And even the way Imam Ali السلام, talks about her, highlights to you just what a special person she was. You know, a flower came from heaven went to heaven, left its fragrance in my mind. You know, it's, it's, it's this really romantic but, but unbelievable thing that Ali ibn Rathab is distraught when she dies. You know, she, she's given him four wonderful kids. But at the same time, he found a partner to open up to. Mm -hmm. At the same time, he found someone who was always there for him whenever he was facing the harshest moments. Uhud, 63 wounds on his body. Mm. She doesn't come out and say, hey, you know what? I'm the daughter of so-and-so. I don't clean anyone and I will not help anything. No, no. She comes with the most beautiful, beautiful humility like the rest of those ladies on the day of Uhud. Mm. So let's not narrow Fatima Zahra down her greatness because she's the daughter or wife of someone. No, no. In her own right, that cognizance of the Lord which... Her mother Khadija was impeccably showing when she was living. But in her own right, there is a uniqueness to it. Mm -hmm.